turn a nigga to an organ donor if he really trying to get clapped at. Make a bitch really suck my dick if she really want me on her Snapchat. Couple thotties wanna say they bodies, but that ain't even my type then. And I told the club I ain't coming in. If I can't get this pipe in, I'm solo fuck a hype man. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Can't Tell Now back with another banger. I say, today we finna do another QA video. So look, I got your boy Marlo. Man, look, y'all go follow that boy on Instagram right now at what? Okay, Trey Marlo. One. Hey, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell. And if y'all don't, I'm gonna shoot your mama house up. What up? Spin back. What, we ain't missing nothing, huh? Shit, no. And if we miss, we coming back, huh? We shit down. We ain't missing Oh, alright. Alright, we have it on the feet, huh? Uh-huh. Alright. That's great nerve. <laughs> right. Why did y'all go to jail? You talking about what? Why be a uh, last situation? Oh, uh, just how many? Like, like. Well, that could really break down to how many times I went to jail. I went to jail with YB. They trying to lie and say we had like but 16 guns and some shit. Uh, they took all our money, everything. Th is that, that for the Chopper City video? Yeah, Baton Rouge, Baton yeah. Rouge PD. Yo, oh, no. they took all our money, everything. Chit chat. I went to jail Buku time though. Me and Kendall went to jail. Yo. Isn't it? This is our BR out here. NBR? Alright, alright. All right. Yeah, go ahead and explain. We in the car with somebody else. Dick, we in the whole stolen car. They said we in the whole stolen car. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. They said we in the whole stolen car. I went to jail. Look the cup. Time in Louisiana. Nigga got caught with some weed. Yeah, little pity. That's a little pity, pity y'all. I know. You know, they dirty out there, bitch. Yo. Some weed, some pills and shit. But the whole time, nigga trying to take their charge. BR so they so dirty and they don't like a nigga out there, bitch. Yeah. So they, they made a nigga go to jail with them niggas. Like they like fuck no, we Same. know you got something to do with this. Why they don't like y'all niggas? Because who we is? Yo, who y'all live? Okay, Trey, huh? Yeah, ain't no who we yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, my first time going to jail, it was it was some pity shit. You know, in Louisiana this, this shit racist too. And so shit, I still got the video of this shit in my phone. I uh I punched on the white man at Sonic. And so shit. They called the police and police came. I left that bit. They were calling, telling me to come back and shit. I was like, man, fuck it. So I went back up there and they took my ass to jail. We ain't gonna talk about the other times. I ain't gonna talk about it because them, them cases still pending. Yeah. So yeah. What's the funniest house y'all been in in Louisiana? Really, two of them bitches. It's the one that we had in Slidell. Uh, we used to, that bitch used to be so dumb. Yeah, y'all had a whole run in and out, huh? I'm talking about it. <laughs> man, that bitch used to be so dumb. I'm talking about we used to have a different bitch in that bitch every, every day, day, huh? I'm ah! talking about every day. This yeah. was in Louisiana still because it's a slight hell. Uh, it's in Louisiana, but man, different bitch in that bitch every day. That bitch used to be so turned. <clears> I'm talking about it. But the other house, the shit we, the bitch we had in Gonzales, YB house. Yo, that, that bitch was dumb too. That's the one, the house when he's on house arrest? Yeah, that bitch that was bitch, dumb. That bitch was that dumb. Bitch was big. That bitch was dumb. Then that boy left. That boy left on when he got off for house arrest. That uh -huh. boy left. That boy gave us the house for like the last two months he had that bitch left. So we were really thugging in that bitch. Say, honestly, on some real, the funnest house we had growing up was shit in my house, honestly. Everybody That's the Louisiana houses. You know, these houses lit down here too. But I'm talking about the Man. Louisiana houses right there. Oh, I ain't never had no big house. I ain't never, I ain't never lived in no big house. But like the fun, like having where the place everybody had fun at. Well, they came to my house, my papa house. Yeah. Shit, everybody, everybody, papa, is everybody granted. Everybody came to my side though. What made y'all move out of Louisiana? Daddy. To better yourself, like because there ain't no niggas that could make a nigga move, but it's like it's. Lot of niggas, yeah, it's a lot of niggas hating. Like, Facts. You don't want to be around a million niggas hating on you all day. Facts. And you don't want to be around that shit. Like, no nigga can't make you move your city though, but you leave your city from better opportunities. Facts. Like that. That's and that's exactly what I did. But on some real, if it was up to me, I would have left that bitch. Uh, I was real. I wouldn't have left that bitch. It was up to me. It was really. It but, was really all tired. But any nigga got money. If any nigga got money, like you supposed to move your. That's true. Because why that's you true. want your children to grow up in that same environment that you grew up? Right. That's true. Knowing that's that, true. knowing that it got a million people don't like you, so 
You, they trying to grow up, pay your turn. Yeah. See, that's why, that's why I can't bring you down there. Like, when you off there, I can't bring you down there. Because you, know, you know, I don't want to put you in that position because you know you might not be ready for that life yet. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm smoking good CBD. Yo. What's your favorite state to travel to? I can't really say my favorite state, but shit, I travel to Louisiana damn near every day. It may seem like shit. But I never been to no. My, my my favorite state I really want to go to is Cali. Well, I've been to Cali, but I want to go to LA though. But, oh, I don't want to live out there though. Please be thinking about that Cali bass and shit. Oh, but yeah. Cali, Cali, Cali fun, but they ain't the, the shit in there. I don't want to. It's too different for me. Yeah, ain't like, I want to go out the country type shit. Like, I want to do Dubai type shit. See, I'm scared to do like, that shit. I watch too many movies. Like, this type shit I want to do, like, Dubai type shit. Like, everybody in foreign cars out there, but nobody. So, Real nobody, nobody gonna be hating on you. Everybody in Ferraris and shit. That's everybody true. in track coats. Yeah. Everybody in Hellcats. That's true. Because them motherfuckers out there are rich as hell. If you could give a young advice from y'all hood, what would it be? Stay away from fucking niggas. Stay away from fucking niggas. Get money. And fuck them hoes. Yeah, fuck them hoes, but don't trust them hoes. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Fuck don't trust them hoes. Don't trust them hoes. If it ain't positive, don't fuck with that shit. If it ain't gonna benefit you or your family, don't fuck with that shit. I say, watch your surroundings. Peep every, peep every nigga that be around you and pay attention to what they, how they move and what they do. And don't worry about another nigga money. Because another nigga money ain't your money. Facts. And they can't, shit, that nigga don't supposed to do nothing for you because either. Because shit, a nigga have a, nigga have a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, shit, I'm good. Yo. You feel me? I be a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, nigga, I'm good. I don't give a fuck if the nigga got a million dollars. Yo. Yeah. Yo, that thing, I could do it. I do it same thing, I could do it same thing with that nigga money. Ask, of anything, ask that nigga like, what you do? You try to get put in that position and like, get, get there and work there. But mm -hmm. shit, the youngest from my hood, them niggas fucked up, them little niggas be like murder and shit. Yeah. Mm, fucked up in my hood. <laughs> What's the worst thing you did as a child? Man, I was young as a bitch, my nigga. We, we used to be out there bitch in Louisiana. Yeah. We used to have, be having big ass rocks. Uh huh. Like, throwing at cars. And throwing the bitches at cars. So we got the same thing. Yeah, That's the I'm worst thing for me. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about busting them bitches <laughs> up. I'm talking about busting. Yo. I'm talking about one day we stopped. This shit was back in the day. I'm talking about I'm like, like 10, 9, 10 years old. Yeah. I'm talking about bad as a motherfucker. Girl. We out there, bitch. I'm with my crazy ass cousin. I ain't gonna say his name because for the police here, they ain't finna get us for his shit. Because yeah. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> but look, boom. We out there, bitch. That bitch here, police car with a rock. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but look, we ain't knew it was the police car until after. Yeah. And boy, put on the siren and um, stopped the car. We took, took off. off. Took off. I'm out of Out of But boom, I ran to I ran screaming my grandma shit. Yeah. But he didn't see where I ran that though. But he just come and knock on Buku door. I'm young. Uh -huh. But I'm, I'm already game because I be watching so much shit go down already. Yeah. To what, like. I'm like fucking right. I know how to do this shit now. Yeah. Like, but I'm young as a bitch. I'm but 19 years old. No cap. Yeah. But I went change clothes and everything. <laughs> I'm talking about my grandma in that bitch. She know. She already know it's us. Yeah. Because we always doing all the bad shit. Down. Stupid shit. I'm yeah. talking about we putting artillery shells and people <laughs> on mailbox blowing them bitches up. Yeah. All type of stupid shit. Like that what we was known for doing stupid shit. The only thing I can think of was throwing the rocks at the cars. Cause we had a dump, we got a dumpster in front of my papa house. We just hide behind that bitch, so the car was around my papa bitch. Oh, it man. just run. What's your biggest regret? Letting people get close to me, like females. Yo, yeah. like, let people get close to me. Like telling them stuff, and then they just no, not telling them something because the female can't never give them nothing. Yeah, but, like, let it. You get your feelings involved. No, ain't you good, like, let it. Broke bitches come in a position <laughs> where it ain't supposed to be in. Yeah. Like, damn, trying to get a come up. And be trying to help bitches. Like, that's my biggest regret. My biggest regret is getting somebody pregnant. I regret that shit and I hate that shit. I wish I could take that shit back. Like, like give me my nut back. Like, give me my nut back. Real talk, just give me my nut back. For real. Right. If you could change something, what would you change? But i will tell you, I'll change getting somebody pregnant. So, I'll, go, I'll go back to some days. 
You know what I'm saying? But my homeboys got kids. I changed that shit to the so what I could this shit could go down, but I could be there. Yo. So I could be there and stop this shit. Yo. That's the only thing I changed. Everything else, shit could stay the same, but that's the only thing I changed. Why you on house arrest? This is for him, because I ain't on house arrest. I'm on house arrest because they're trying to put me on a bogus ass charge from shooting somebody that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I'm laughing. I'm dead ass serious though. Yo. Like, I'm on a whole bogus ass charge right now. Because that's another reason the police be hating on us. Like, they be, they be trying to find a reason to fuck with us. Like, cause that's true. Cause I see they did all the they, they brought the whole like, truck out too. Like, all right. The whole truck, like, just to pick a nigga up. And you know why though? Cause who else we at? All right. That's why. Man, that shit, that shit crazy. Hey, gonna catch him while he fucking walking. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, bro. But yeah, oh, yeah, they be tripping though. I don't know what they got going on. Free mellow, free CG. Like, oh, he still locked yeah. up. Yeah, they because they still how locked up because they was on house arrest. They, and people don't know like they before it shit happened. Like my young boy was been yeah, Yo. but they was on house arrest before and they cut their bracelet off like so it was already on that charge. Yo. Like the police didn't hit the house looking for me. They hit the house looking for him. But they just put me on this bogus ass charge for some old shit that they say happened in November or some shit. You might say, ask Marlo will he put a baby in me. Fuck no. <laughs> None of these hoes don't deserve my nut. Yeah. Like shit. Uh, if you if you JT or somebody like that, then you you, yeah. you can uh let them swallow it? Yeah, it can swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes be looking for a come up, huh? Yeah, come up. <clears throat> What's the meaning behind y'all tats? This right here, that's for my dead homeboy. I got his name and shit. This shit right here, it's a demon kissing a bitch. Y'all can't <laughs> really see it. That boy said a demon kissing a bitch. Yeah, y'all can't really see it because I'm getting my hair done. This shit right here, Jesus and like his wife right here with blood coming out this shit. This shit just, this an angel right here. Send some shit. This a Bonnie and Clyde sleeve right here. Is it Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, it's a young and love and killing. Killing? And killing. Oh, killing. Young and love and killing. Like, lifestyle shit right like. Yeah, I got the NBA logo right here. That's all game fuck with Trey shit. Yeah, and I got the fuck with T right here on my neck too. I ain't meant to say no game. That's our family. Like we not no game. That's what they be trying to put us on, like game charges and shit, record chain. Right. Not no game. We're family. Everybody know each other. I got this tape right here on my neck of my sister. We got killed. Oh. Uh, I got Nala name right here on my wrist. I mean, not my wrist, my uh, shit, my uh, oh hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got my homeboy that got killed right here. And I got my granny name right here. All my tats really like memorial tats. I'm finna go get tatted back though. I'm gonna do a whole, I'm gonna do a whole YouTube thing when uh, I'm getting tatted. Like my my next tattoo gonna be a whole graveyard on my stomach. Hell no! Nah. Epic gonna be a graveyard. It gonna be some like headstones and all the bitches gonna be like dead, dead ops type shit. Yeah. With smoke coming from it. It gonna have like the Grim Reaper on my side right here. Yeah. He gonna have blood in his mouth and he gonna have his own knife and shit. Yeah. Pressure shit. I'm scared. See, I wanna, I wanna get my whole dick tatted, but that shit hurt. That shit do hurt. I supposed to, I supposed to do all this shit. I can, that shit hurt it. Yeah, I don't know I about ain't tapped off, but I was like, fuck no, I'm just come back to you, partner. <laughs> I don't know about getting that bit though. I could have did it, but that shit be taking too much time. Like, like all these tattoos right here, like I sat through all these sessions at one time. Like all this shit, one session. All this shit, one session. Are you really related to young boy? So look, that's, that's not a question for me. That's, that's a question for him. Nah, that's my people though. We really know each other though. Like we really close. Y'all know. What's y'all favorite sex position? I like hitting hoes from the back. Thank you. Don't talk to me, just bend over. 
I don't want to look in your eyes, just be low. Because it shows you who a man and who a little boy is. It. Yeah. Like in the back. Hit from the back in the back of the house. But look though, because I, I, I don't want you to get that lay down, me get on top. I don't want to look in your eyes. I want you to turn over. I want to see that ass bounce. That's what I want to see. I just want to see that jiggle and shit. All right. And I might just, put, I might just eat that ass too. Nah. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, hey, I'm joking. Hey, but you my girl, I'm like, yeah, for sure, man. I'm gonna eat the fuck out that ass. You know, I might just spit in a little bit too. <laughs> no, I'm just, I ain't doing all this shit, though. I ain't doing all this, though. Hey, no, but say, so you ain't gonna eat no ass? Shit, no. Come on, son. Now, you know you gonna put your ass, you put your thumb in the butt? That's different than eating ass. So, you ain't gonna, so she get out fresh out the shower with that booty hole looking. Fuck just no. Squeaky hell. I don't even got no girlfriend to be trying to do nothing that But if you did, she got the shower, fine hell, yeah. booty hole looking squeaky. No. Oh, yeah. You gonna, boy, you gonna stick your tongue inside that ass, though. Shit, man, that's true. <laughs> Y'all know you be eating ass. <laughs> nah, I don't eat booty. She a Louisiana ass eater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eat booty, man. Hey, look, if y'all fuck with that, Y'all, comment right now and say drop a part two. And look, y'all smash the like button. Comment and subscribe to her with notification bell. And if y'all don't, I'ma shoot your mama out, so what up? And we gonna spin back with the y'all. Yeah.